Hello everyone, it is Iververse and welcome to today's news flash. In this video I will bring you the latest updates on the events in Knights and Dragons and as always I will go through them briefly and give you guys my thoughts and opinions about the events. Now, before we get started off this event I apologize for not bringing any videos, I just feel sick. I really don't know uh, what's going on with me, I feel so feverish. Uh, like, today I just woke up like after... 14 or 16 hours of sleep my head is burning and I was like you know I gotta bring out this video to you guys so I'm gonna try to do it in the best of my ability sorry if it's lacking the quality as it usually does next week should be normal uh, I do have some videos recorded uh, there's actually a reason why I haven't been bringing them out uh, I cannot stand being behind the computer right now because my head just explodes uh, but I'll just take an aspirin later today and make sure that I'll edit this over the course of the day to you taking some breaks drinking a lot of water so that way yeah everything will be fine and in advance thank you guys so much for the, 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 the you know get well soon wishes because i have already been receiving some of them so let's get started here first event this week we have the future fire the blitz guild war starting uh, tomorrow on saturday again it's very convenient for me then after that we have uh, well as we already said horseman boss collection event is going to end after this week this is the fourth week the la last epic boss is called death Losing the grip of death, I don't really understand that catchphrase, but uh, someone might have to, uh, you know, call it out to me. But if we are done with this event, it's going to be on the 21st. You have the ability to redeem your, uh, you know, your boss armors. Uh, and you, of course, uh, I mean, you gotta, you gotta uh, have the ability to redeem your death chest keys. And of course, the Northerners battle gear if you were the true badass that actually got the plus versions of the armor. I'll be going for this. Hopefully, we can make it, even though I don't really feel all that well. But we should have have no problems with this whatsoever maybe maybe i'm just knocking on wood because i'm gonna jinx myself let's move on last event of this week is the dark destiny epic guild wars uh let's actually take a look at the winners currently is the 16th of may so that means that the deadly decay tournament has been ended epic of last week was the blaze mantle so let's actually take a look who the three champions are this week coming in first place we have af keyware uh, or Kaiware, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it with 1.5 million points. I already kind of predicted this, so this is really amazing that they uh, kind of followed up to the prediction I had. He has a aquatic battle gear, as you guys can see. I think he's from the final stand, not entirely sure which guild that is. And then after that, in second position, a little bit less than uh, 1.5 million points, it is uh, XFSX Shinigami with 1.43 million points coming in second position, also winning the blows placed on Mantle. And then in third position, very close by, we have Bruce Leroy with 1.38 million points and then I also know for a fact there's another person with 1.3 million points it's really unfortunate that he didn't get the uh, the, uh, the Blaze Metal that's really that really sucks because there was a huge gap in between the rest of them but anyway congratulations to these three winners they actually made it up there I'm ranked 25,000 and above didn't really do all that well gonna get six gems 120,000 uh, gold doesn't really do a lot for me but the gems always help so let's move on to this week's event it it is the uh, actual Dark Destiny. I, I keep on, I keep on having Dynasty in my head. I don't know why, but Dark Destiny featuring the Northerners Battle Gear. That's really, that's really shit. I mean, why would you bring out the Northerners right now, Gray? Why would you do that kind of stuff? It doesn't make sense at all. You know, Northerners gonna be like next week you're gonna get it for free why would people even bother with this let's actually see how many points people have been getting in this arena join earth lords they're in first position why would you get 220,000 points are you like insane and alexander you already got a northerners why are you doing this anyway it's their money you know it's their money but um you know, I don't really have a lot to say about this armor. I'll be t talking more about it once I get actually get my own. So, let's move on to the next one. The next one is the... Wow. Swampstone Blade Man. Now, let me check here for a second when this thing came out. Because this thing is ancient. This thing is even older than the Horseman's uh, Battle Gear last week. It came out on the October 9th. Why? <laughs> this is horrible. This is like... A one and a half year old at least uh, this is an absolute terrible legendary to bring out for top 100 uh, Greece should totally do something about this absolutely not worth going for at all let's take a look at the second legendary oh of course it's an even older legendary than before it's the hydro stone hydro man uh, sorry it's the hydro mantle and uh, this one is one of the most early 
Epic Boss Armor as well. It is actually older than one year. It came out on March the 27th in 2013. Now that's really ridiculously old. Uh, I have nothing to say about this. I'm flabbergasted, you know. Gree actually took it up a step and made it even worse than before. I don't know. It's really stupid that Gree is doing stuff like this. Um, I don't know if they're enjoying themselves doing, you know, bring out this crappy armors. But, you know, it's not worth going for. Uh, as always, make sure to uh, do your weekly quest line. There's no sales on going right now. But if you do finish off your weekly quest line, you're of course going to get some gems for finishing it off. Seems a very easy first quest for me. Do five ranked PvP battles, but you might have some trouble later on. So let's move on to our new next event. The next event is actually the Fusion Fighters Blitz Guild War. Featured element this time is water, so you're gonna get a lot of water fusion boost hours if you're in a good guild, and that's always gonna be nice. Now, what I'm always doing is comparing the last fusion boost war with the uh, recent fusion boost war. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so that way you can stay updated with every single change that is happening. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be very interesting for us as well. So Sunday is going to be a results video, so make, uh, make sure you guys look forward to that. As always, my guild is going to go for top 250. Uh, as for my guild, um, I actually bumped up the requirement to 20 battles, so that's actually going to make sure that we're going to get in top 250. If we don't make it, going to be pretty upset about it, but at least we're going to give it a try. So make sure you guys subscribe once again, so that way you guys can stay updated with the results as well. So with that being said, let's move on to the last event, and the last event is the... Uh, the Horseman Boss Collection's last epic boss this week. It is called Death. And uh, losing the grip of death. I have been thinking about it. The catchphrase doesn't make sense to me at all. But let's actually take a look at this amazing epic boss. It looks absolutely stunning. Currently level 33. Doing pretty well on it. Um, the little aura at the bottom after every single epic boss in there looks pretty amazing. Um... I gotta say, I really like the color combinations in here. It, it looks really well. The, 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 the purplish blends really well within the dark blue and the light blue. And I really like it a lot. The little timer, the little... Um the sand timer that he has in, in his left hand uh, looks really great as well. I don't quite understand the whole aura thing. The, the lightning st strikes or something that is on his back. I don't really understand that. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. The weapon looks absolutely crazy. And it really sucks that these horses don't come with the armor. Uh, this is once again a unicorn with a horn outside coming off his nose. Don't really understand that either. But you know. I don't care. It looks absolutely amazing. The horse looks great too. Uh, the animation looks great as well. I don't have the energy to show it off to you guys, but I'm really sure uh, you guys should check it out. Actually, my mother's uh, a friend of mine, uh, also a guild member, pointed out that if you actually take a close look at the animation, the little timer starts like spinning like crazy. I think that looks really cool. Uh, now, let's take a look at the actual armor. The armor elements this week are spirit and water. For me, that's an actual good matchup because I have two armors that match up well against it. Um... This actually right now is the best legendary in the game. It beats the pestilence by two combined stats. Combined stat of course combining the attack and the defense. Making the best legendary in the game. The armor looks really great on itself too. This armor is a little bit more defensive than the uh, pestilence mantle. I'm still debating whether or not I should use it in my lineup. I'm not entirely sure. I will probably level it up to level 70. But I'm not sure when I'll do that. Um, but other than that. The armor looks really great. The weapon looks amazing. Still I don't understand the thing behind the back but you know that doesn't really matter all that much uh, other than that i'm just really a huge fan of this armor and you know i just gotta give it up to great great did a great job on all of these armors uh i really feel they they bumped up their production value by a lot and it's really great to see these armors up there some people consider them epics you know they can already go for the older epics out there at least graphic wise they are def definitely one epic worthy uh naming out there that doesn't make sense at all but i don't i don't care right now the death nemesis uh, i don't know it doesn't really appeal to me all that much so let's not talk about it because i'm starting to feel a little bit you know out of breath out of out of this commentating my nose is a little bit blocked, I don't feel well at all, but this pretty much concludes this week's news flash, so I hope you guys liked it. Make sure that if you actually have a question to ask me on ask.fm forward slash reversal KND, uh, and that's gonna be it for this week, you know, uh, feel free to also express your thoughts and your opinions about these events with everyone else in the comment section below, and if you are interested to see more about me, 
on Nights and Drags, you can always follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, or you can just like my official Facebook page, and the links will be provided in the video description. Tomorrow is going to be the guild recruitment video, so starting tomorrow, you'll see the, uh, you know, how to join my guild video uh, 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 as well so that way you guys can join in we'll be recruiting a few people before the actual guild where it starts so uh, make sure you guys look forward to that and that's gonna be it for this week so of course as always i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in this week for your knights and dragons news hope you guys enjoy this video and as always if you guys like this video make sure to boom, give it a thumbs up i reversal bringing you your weekly knights and dragons news i'll be signing off and i'll see you guys next week